Out into the wild, indigenous child, survive the formidable trials. I stand in the rain, scan in the plains, and pursue to the villainous vibes. I never think that I love it to blame, just send it my name. Okay. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a PVC pipe blowgun. The things that we'll need are PVC pipe, a saw, a knife, some scissors, some paper, some nails, some old coat hangers, and some electrical tape. Okay, so there's two steps to this project. The first step is making the blowgun, and we'll go over that first. It's pretty simple. You'll just need to get yourself a piece of PVC pipe and measure it to a length of your liking and you'll want to take your saw and you'll want to cut both ends. Okay, now once we've cut our PVC pipe down to length, you'll want to take your knife and you'll want to clean off the edges um, and clean off all of the frays. Once you've done that, we'll come back and we'll get to our next step. All right. Okay, so now to finish this off, um, what I've done is I went through with electrical tape and I just wrapped around the edges and some here in the middle just to give it more of a decorative look. Another thing that I like to do is I added on this dart holder and the way that I do that is I just take an additional smaller piece of PVC pipe and I cut it in half and I place both halves on each side of the uh, PVC pipe and then I take our electrical tape and I wrap it around it to hold it in place. So we'll go through and we'll decorate this one real quick. Okay, so now we're back and we went through and we've decorated our blow gun and I've even added on the side attachment. I didn't cut this one in half uh, because the darts that I'm getting ready to show you to make in the next step are gonna be a little bit larger and I believe that this whole piece of PVC pipe will do a lot better in holding them there rather than cutting them in half. It may be a little too small. Um, but other than that, as you can see, I've just kind of went through and decorated the mouthpiece and in the middle and the end. So that way I always know which end that I'm blowing out of. And that's pretty much it. That's, that's all there is to making the PVC um, pipe blowgun. I mean, if you wanted to go through and make it a step further, you can get an attachment on the end that goes from this three-quarter inch to a one-inch piece and attach it to more of a mouthpiece. Um, I find that those aren't quite contoured to you know the the bends in your mouth and it's a little harder to get a full um, breath blown into the tube um, so I just like it staying at this this flat edge um, you know you can just put that right up to your mouth and blow on it and it's a lot easier okay so the next step is making the blow dart okay so the best way that I found to make these darts are using an old coat hanger I just cut off this bottom part and these side parts um, and they're, they're really sturdy and they're really lightweight. And then um, I just use a piece of paper for the wing on the back. And I use some uh, really small nails um, for the tip. And I just use electrical tape to tape it all together. And then I have scissors, of course, to cut out my paper. So let's go ahead. And the first step we're going to do is we're going to remove this long part and these smaller parts from this coat hanger, okay? Okay, so now we went through and we've cut open our coat hanger and taken off the pieces that we need here. Now some of them on the sides, they're going to have these small little holes and tabs from where um, they're attached towards the top. And I found if you can just get them as straight as you can, we can actually hide that with the tail so that it doesn't actually mess up our dart. Um, and then the next step that we're going to do is we're going to take one of our darts and we're going to cut this right down the middle so that we have um, sort of a small clamp in the, um, which we can attach our um, nail to the shaft of the dart. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so now that we've cut this in half, what we'll do is we'll take our nail and insert it into the piece of coat hanger with the um, point sticking outward so that you have a point to the, the dart. And then the next step is to take the electrical tape and wrap it from the beginning here all the way to the end. And you'll want to start down here and wrap to the end so that when you attach your tail, your tail holds the electrical tape in place. So let's go ahead and wrap this and get our tail ready to go. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is take our piece of 
paper and our scissors and we're going to want to cut this into four so that we have four squares. Now they don't have to be even because you'll be cutting them down from there but just as long as you get a good solid piece that's all that matters. So now that we have our square the next thing you'll want to do is do your best to cut out a circle. Now the circle again doesn't have to be perfect because you'll be trimming it down anyway but what you'll want to do is make sure that it is most of the sides of our square or in this case a rectangle so that we have a large piece that we can cut down so that the dark fits perfectly in the end of the PVC pipe. So the next step is to take and cut a slit halfway inside our piece of paper and wrap it into a cone shape. Now once you have the cone shape what you'll want to do is you'll want to go through with your electrical tape and you want to put a piece of tape that goes right up the side here to hold this in place. Okay so now that we've attached our piece of tape you want to go through and cut off a small hole from the bottom so that we can slide our piece of um, dart shaft through so that we can make the wing on the back. Now you'll want to make sure that you leave a little room on the inside um, and that helps with you pushing the dart into the piece of PVC pipe so that you don't ruin the tail. Now the next thing to do is go through with some electrical tape and attach some tape along the, the end right here to secure your tail to your piece of um, dart shaft. And I also go through and I put a few drops of glue on the inside just to make sure that the tail is not going to come off. So once we've done that, we'll go through and we'll show you how to trim down the tail so that it fits in the bottom of the PVC pipe. Okay, now the last step is to take our dart and insert it into the end until it just barely stops. And then you'll take your scissor and you'll go through and you will cut the rest of the tail off just where the dart meets the blowgun tip. So that way the dart will fit just inside the blowgun but it won't slide and fall all the way through. Okay, so now that we've cut it down and it'll, it'll slide right in and it'll just barely push in. Now, when I go through and I insert my darts into my blowgun, I try to just use the first part of my finger as a depth measurement, and then I stop it there. Um, so now that we're done, let's test it out. Hi, I'm Ducky, and now that Big Red has shown you how to make the PVC pipe blow dart gun, I shall demonstrate how it works. <clears throat> now, you want to take a nice deep breath so you can get some good distance on it. Now for the purpose of this we constructed some eh, smaller darts. Okay. <coughs> and we'll cut the rest of the stuff out. And then, what's that? <coughs> Okay, um, make a note, do not have your mouth on it when you take your deep breath. Let's, let's try this again. Alright, uh, so lesson learned, uh, quick note. Uh, always wear protective eyewear when you are testing your, uh, your PVC pipe uh, <clears throat> blowgun. And, um, you know, uh, when you are going to test it, be responsible. Do not shoot it at people because uh, stuff like this will happen.